how the heck did I end up over here? Because this was not part of the plan at all. And yeah. it, it just started from, you Redemption know. Redemption wasn't part of the plan. Because again, yeah, I was yeah, home. Oh, he just called me. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm um, playing video game. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna shoot Friday. I'm like, what? I got, I, I got, <laughs> yeah. a, cam I got a camera for two days. We shooting Friday. We shooting what? We're gonna shoot a fight scene. I'm like, what is the script? Just gonna shoot it. So we're not, we Redemption was awesome. <laughs> that was the classic version of winging it. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, that yeah, was literally did, like yeah. the, the whole shoot was, uh, uh, it was just literally, we had access to a red yeah. camera. We had it for the weekend and it was just like, we're gonna do we're something gonna do with something it. With so the I, I, you know, I wanna do action films, you know? So I, I knew with, obviously with Angel, you know, he was gonna be my star in it. So hey, let's do an action film. We had nobody, you know, time to rehearse. Angel's looking at, ah, dude's not committed. Nobody's committed. Well, I'm committed. Let's go. So, you know, that's how I ended up being in it. It was purely out of necessity. It was, okay, I'll do it with you because, yeah. you know, again, same thing with Hollywood. It's, it's tough to get people to stick with it and stay with you, especially when it's all for no money. So, you know, it's, uh, so when I knew we had two committed actors, it was me and him, so we went and did it. And uh, uh, we, we had Pedro Guillemarez, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, he was a camera operator and DP and lighting guy. It was literally just like four of us. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was me, Angel Pedro and my son uh, CJ and he was handling like the, the, the PA -ing and helping with the lights and putting uh, wiping sweat off and all that crap and, <laughs> and we just went for it you know no lightings and uh, no rehearsal and yeah. then it literally yeah, just, just was like right uh, there. we're gonna fight so you throw, you throw a take <laughs> I remember the great line, remember the great line. <laughs> just before the first take before we start fighting he was like well what are we gonna what do gonna cause do? I'm like blocking it I'm like oh we're gonna go from here and, then, uh, and he was like what the heck are we gonna do I'm gonna come running at you and try to take your head off get out the way yeah yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was the first shot of the fight sequence. It was like, okay, I'm gonna run and try to take your head off, get out of the way, and, and, and that, that's yeah. how it started. And we just kind of winged it the whole way, but uh, we had a lot of trust in each other, and that's how we were able to get through that, because uh, I've worked with uh, other martial artists, other fighters, and doing a sequence, and um, it was different. It was different. It's like when, when you have that trust, it was just, you know, it was, it was just, a lot, it was effortless working with Angel. It was, it was tiring, but it was, it, was, it was effortless. And he kicks hard. He kept, <laughs> he kept kicking me in this one spot of my leg, and I was just like, all right, that's enough. I had my footprint on my chest from him kicking me in the chest. I and I had the bad, grooves, I the bad. grooves from his sneakers yeah, in my chest. Yeah, 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 it kept saying, okay, uh, take, take 10. I'm like, you, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you sure you got it? You sure you got it? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like, take 16. I'm like, you sure? I'm like, okay, I'm going to kick you again. <laughs> so it was, it was, he it was, hard. A, it was, so a, it, it yeah. was, that was, that was cool. It was, that was yeah, really cool. And Angel, didn't you set it up where you guys were really hitting each other? Yeah, we actually, yeah. Because yeah. again, uh, to make the fight look real, you know, we had to really punch each other, except the face. From the leg to the body, everything here would go yeah. straight hard and fast. Yeah. Except for the face except hits, for the everything face. in redemption everything else, was real. Everything else was real. I mean, when yeah. he jumps on my shoulders and he's elbowing me on my head and, and I that, slam that, him to the ground yeah, and stuff like that, that was all real. I got on his head and it was all concrete. He just grabbed me, bam, slammed me on the floor. <laughs> It hurt them, but he looked good on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's actually one of the, the, the staples I want to do with uh, my action films because I think um, as a fighter, I've always looked at, you know, uh, traditionally American action films because uh, Hong Kong action films, the martial artists are such highly trained athletes that they could pretty much do anything and not know each other and jump into a scene that quick because they have so much control over their bodies and what they're doing as, as artists. But uh, in the States, you have a lot of, especially in action films, you have a lot of actors who are hired for their acting. And, and then the fighting yeah. is secondary. Yeah. They get trained, and then they're yeah. trained for three months to do a particular scene, but they're only trained to do that scene. So it's it's kind of like, and as a fighter, I could always recognize that because is there, there's, a, there's a way you have your balance. There's a way where you project your force and in a, in a, in a, in a, when you're doing things like that. And, and you know, it's in the camera work, they tend to hide little things like the footwork. And that tells you if a person's really doing something or not. Because I can fake a punch and stand here or I can go widescreen and show you how the punch is really executed and you can see the real force of it so it's, it's just I want to try a different technique on uh, uh, shooting films that will allow uh, uh, you to see the full action without too many quick cuts so you can see how the fight would actually develop instead of a lot of quick cuts that is just fast, 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 that is over and it's just like, what the heck just happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's just like, I want you to actually see how the fight transpires. So Redemption was my first attempt at that. And, uh, you know, we'll make more. 
we'll make more. So uh, Amber is not going to be, uh, Amber's more of a uh, uh, character driven and uh, uh, you know story driven film. So it's, it's action, but it's not going to be that type of action. Yeah. You're not going to see Angel jumping off the walls doing spinning kicks. We're going to do that in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in this one, it's more of uh, uh, he's he's an average guy, and that that's that's the one thing I I, I really like about Amber is one of the uh, the the taglines is anyone can be a hero. So in the story, he's a regular guy hanging out on the street that just happens to, you know, get thrust in this. And he has his chances to step out of those situations and say, I'm not going to save the kids. But he chooses to, to stay in and, and stay engaged. And, uh, you know, it's those choices. Every character has chances in the story where it's, it's kind of like a baton where the situation gets passed to different people where they have choices where they could either stop or keep going and what happens in the film would determine whether these people keep going or not, and, and what happens to the child and uh, it's about all these ordinary people who make extraordinary choices and, uh, and, and the end result is uh, you know the benefit of the, the children involved.